For those of you in a hurry, right mouse click on the entry for path, convert to Bezier path, and make a change. For those of you not in a hurry, enjoy the rest of the video. I drew this shape with the pen tool and this shape with one of the shape tools, in this case, the ellipse tool. Now let's have a look at the properties for this first shape just here. So let's twirl them open just here. We can see an entry for path one just here, which contains path just here. Now, if we wish to start manipulating this path, don't be clicking on the internal entry just here for path. Click away, click on the outside entry, now we can come and click on these points and happily move them around like so. Okay, let's have a closer look at our ellipse just here. So opening up its properties just here, we can see we have ellipse path one just here, but internally we are seeing options for size and position. Now this is fine, but it does mean that we can't currently manipulate this path. So here's the cool trick. Ellipse path one, if I right mouse click on it and choose convert to Bezier path, now I have an entry for path one and path inside that. So like before, the trick is don't be clicking on the internal one. Click away, click on the outside entry for path. Now we can come up here, click on the points and happily move them around like so. So I hope that helps unlock the puzzle why sometimes paths are editable and other times they are not. Catch you later.